Around one in four of all crashes is the front into rear crash. Where the driver is distracted, this leads to thousands of whiplash claims every single year. But new technologies can address this by automatically monitoring the traffic situation and if needs be, braking for the driver to avoid a collision like that. Let's see how it works. These four vehicles are all fitted with Autonomous Emergency Braking or AEB systems. New technologies increasingly being fitted to our vehicles that could substantially reduce the instance of being killed or seriously injured on European roads. AEB sensors are fitted to the vehicle, either behind the windscreen or at the front of the vehicle, and they're lasers for low speed for city, or they're radars and cameras for the higher speed interurban system. They're designed to work when maybe the driver isn't, and they can brake for the driver if he doesn't, to avoid the crash occurring in the first place. Euro NCAP will begin testing AEB systems in 2014 and will feature two tests. The first is the city test running into a static object. It represents typical city driving where we see thousands of whiplash injuries, where one vehicle where the driver is distracted runs into the back of another. Three points will be available and that will go into the adult occupant protection score and will go into the final score to make up the star rating. Here we have the AEB test target we use for Euro NCAP AEB testing. The target itself has been specially developed such that it activates the AEB systems in the vehicles. Uh, we have the features of a rear vehicle such as the visual features for the camera sensors. So we have lights, a license plate, feature lines here, wheels, tyres and a shadow. Uh, for radar sensors there's a radar corner reflector in here and also other elements that give us the radar signature. And then for LiDAR sensors, we have reflectors where the lights would be here to make sure that the target can be recognised by numerous different vehicles. When we perform the AEB tests, although we have a test driver in the vehicle, the vehicles are actually being driven by the robots. In the test car here, we have a steer robot, which gives us path following. We have an accelerator robot down here, which does the speed control. And for the interurban tests, where we have the brake response for the forward collision warning, we have a brake robot. The chief advantage of using these robots is they give us very controllable and repeatable testing. These two vehicles, are fitted with city-based systems. In our towns and cities, the most common injury tends to be whiplash. Very rarely life-threatening, but it is a serious injury. These two vehicles have a solution. They're fitted with a LiDAR. These systems use lasers shining six metres ahead of the vehicle. And when there's a reflection, the system will automatically brake to prevent the collision. The XC60 here is very important because this was the first vehicle fitted with an AEB city system. Real world data suggests that this is actually reducing crashes by about 25% with a resulting reduction in whiplash injuries. These two vehicles are fitted with more sophisticated technology. These have interurban systems. Interurban systems are more complex and they use radars and sometimes cameras in sensor fusion to constantly monitor the traffic situation around the vehicle. If there's a potential collision uh, ahead, the system will warn the driver so the driver can react. If the driver doesn't react, then the system can take over and automatically brake 
to avoid the collision occurring. These are designed to work at higher speeds on highways and motorways and Euro NCAP test these systems up to 80 kilometres per hour with a moving target. The interurban tests use a mobile barrier towed behind an SUV. This represents crashes on faster roads like motorways where we see more killed and seriously injured. Here the driver can either react to a warning or the vehicle will automatically brake to avoid the collision occurring. This vehicle, this Mercedes, has perhaps the most sophisticated system here because it combines both radars here and here and a stereo camera system. So this system is more sophisticated and can identify more potential collision threats and avoid more crashes. We're going to increasingly see this technology being fitted to vehicles in the future. AEB represents a major step forward for vehicle safety and is already leading to significant reductions in whiplash injuries. Thatcham, on behalf of the UK insurers, will continue to test and evaluate these systems and encourage their wider fitment to make the UK roads a safer place. <laughs>